Alright, today we're going to learn how to do a jQuery plugin with a callback function. Okay, so what that means is uh, when you do a normal function, like take this uh, load for example, okay? Load is not necessarily a plugin, but you could make a load plugin. Uh, but normally when you do plugins, you know, very, very, very basic stuff, you pass it in parameters and the plugin does the rest. Well, this plugin, load, takes in a function and allows you to interact with the plugin here and not use the plugin code. Okay, so we're going to learn that. And then we're also going to make a really cool function called drag. So there's not really a drag function built into jQuery. There are a couple plugins, um, but I'm just going to make a quick one. Basically, the concept of a drag is um, well, you know, you mouse down and then you mouse move, right? So it's pretty simple in that sense. Okay, so you mouse down, then you mouse move. Well, let's take a look at what we're going to apply this to. So we've got a page. Uh, we open the software. We click a link. Okay, link loads. So we've got this drag bar over here, right? So what I want to have happen is when I drag this, I, I want to know what the X value, you know, is from 0 to 100. Okay, I want to know what that is. So I need to add a drag event listener. Well, one doesn't exist, so we're going to make one. Okay, so what do we do? Well, first let's look at the uh, the HTML. It's not really HTML, but we'll call it that. It's a scale element, okay? This only exists in XUL. Watch my Firefox um, plugin tutorial if you, or Firefox, yeah, Firefox add-on plugin tutorial, whatever, if you want to learn what that is. But this is a Zool element. Uh, it's got an ID of zoom scale, so that's going to be our selector. We've set here our min and max, okay? And, uh, which we may not do here at all. And we've set a width, to just, you know, just some sizing stuff. Okay. Again, these values are arbitrary. We're going to do the work in JavaScript. So first thing we need to do is kind of uh, what, what we should do is write out what we want our plugin to do in the end. Okay. So let's move over to here, and this is where our scale is going to interact. So we're going to grab that scale called uh, Zoom Scale, right? So kind of what we want to have happen is I want to be able to call drag. That's going to plugin I'm going to make, and I want to be able to pass it the minimum and the maximum. Okay. This can change later if you don't want it to pass in and you want it to grab those attributes, we can do that too. But for now, we're going to pass in uh, the minimum and the maximum value. Again, this is only an, an X, a horizontal slider. We're not going to do a vertical one right now. Okay. Now, the next thing is just like the load, just like the click, just like all the other event listeners, we're going to write a function, right? Just like that. Now, again, we're going to have to tell our plugin to know what to do with this, but that's going to be, we're going to pass, we want our plugin to basically give us the x value when you drag, and then we're just going to console.log out that x value. So this is, this is what our plugin should do. It should be able to take a minimum, a maximum, and a function, and then be able to interact with that. So let's go ahead and build that. So in our, right in our plugin area, okay, what we need to do is we'll start a quick plugin. So dollar sign for jQuery dot fn means a plugin, and we're going to call it drag, okay? And that's going to be equal to function, <clears throat> and the function is going to take three parameters, <clears throat> excuse me, min, max, and a callback function, okay? And we're just going to bracket and bracket that. Yeah. Okay, next thing is... Um, <clears throat> Normally here you might want to do some objects in, in, in terms of like settings and stuff, but we're not going to do any of that. We don't need any objects. We only have these two parameters, okay? So we're going to return this dot each, and we're going to do an each function. The reason we do this is just like any other jQuery plugin, we want to return the object that you selected. So you could do chaining. That's why we're doing this, so you can do chaining. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this is going to be equal to um, the, the element right, is going to be equal to whatever the jQuery selector was. So this, the first thing we have to do is add our mouse down. So mouse down, and that's going to be a function, right, function. Okay, now in the mouse down, we need to do mouse move. So that's going to be this dot mouse move is a function, okay. Now we have a problem in that this is going to attach the mouse move, and it's always going to attach the mouse move, as in your mouse will never stop spitting out details. Okay, even if we put an if statement in here to block it from moving, it's going to go from negative infinity to positive infinity because the mouse move always exists. So we actually need to take off the mouse move. Well, how does that happen? Well, when you're dragging, when you're done dragging, you lift off your mouse. Okay, you mouse up. So we're going to chain right on the end of this mouse down. We're going to chain dot mouse up, and that's going to be a function. Now, how you get rid of a listener is you do this, which is again the jQuery selector dot unbind, okay, unbind. So tech, so all these this dot mouse downs, this dot mouse moves. These are all shortcuts for using the bind function. So let me just 
quickly go down here for a second. So I, instead of doing mouse down, or even doing click, but we'll go ahead and use mouse down. You could say this dot bind mouse down comma function, right? This is the exact same thing as doing this dot mouse down. Okay, these two are identical. The reason for that is jQuery just made it simpler. So you don't have to write bind every time. That's all. Okay? But they are bound. So to get rid of them, we say this dot unbind mouse move. Okay? We're going to kill the mouse move when you mouse up. Okay? Now there's two things uh, that we have left to do. Um, we need to basically, when you do the mouse move, we want either something to happen or we want to call our callback function. Well, in our case, we want to call the callback function. So we're just going to do callback and we're going to send it. Now, in this case, when you do a mouse move, um, it takes an event. And when it takes an event, the property of the event is client x, is the x value of the mouse. So we're going to send our callback, e dot client x. Okay, you can research that yourself, but that's what it is. So if we save that and we open Firefox up, and we open the software and we click a link and now when we drag this along you can see we start getting X values and when I lift the mouse up they stop moving okay now the problem here is that uh, I can go here and it's negative 17 so it's not really abiding by our max and min like I'm up to 268 here it didn't listen to my max and min so let's go ahead and make that happen we're going to do it here so we don't have to do it in our callback function that way it's because our, min our minimum and maximum will always need to be in place so we're going to do if e dot client x is less is actually let's do greater than or greater than or equal to because we want to be able to hit zero our min and e dot client x is less than or equal to our max then go ahead and do our callback that's what we want save quit open it back up to refresh the javascript open up the software click a link now we've got this slider i can go up it won't go past 100 i can go down it won't go past 0 okay boom 1 boom 7 right so we'll, there's our zero. It will never go past zero, never go past 100. So now we have created a drag event listener, and you have learned how to have a callback function that in here is used for whatever you want in the plugin.